our first annual Moselle Sanders Thanksgiving feeding. In conjunction with Compton College and Gerben Youth Academy, volunteers from all over the place come and prepare hot meals as we deliver it to the citizens of Compton. Mr. Sanders, how are you today? I'm fine, how are you? I'm doing great. Could you tell us about the foundation? Well, this is the Moselle Sanders Thanksgiving Dinner West Coast Inc. Moselle Sanders was my father, uh, who passed away in 1988. He started feeding the hungry on Thanksgiving in Indianapolis, Indiana in 1972. Now, how many people are you guys planning to feed this year? 5,000 plus. The last time we went for 5,000, the last time I heard we were like close to 6,000 dinners that are going out and then we're feeding here on campus too. How did you choose Compton as your first location? It is so moving uh, the way we just came together and in fact Dr. Curry is the one who hooked us up with Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball stepped in once they saw the video, saw what we were trying to do, and said, we don't want to be a sponsor, we want to be a partner. And there's a difference between a sponsor and a partner. A sponsor helps you give you assistance one time, but a partner is for life. In conjunction with Major League Baseball, its Executive Vice President of Player Development, Frank Robinson, the MLB Urban Youth Academy, Dodger grades Kenny Landro and Darrell Thomas, along with City of Compton Mayor Eric Paradin, Congresswoman Laura Richards, and many other dignitaries and volunteers all work side by side to help make this, the first annual Moselle Sanders Thanksgiving Feeding West Coast, a great community event and a huge success. Major League Baseball in the community yeah, we're taking care of the people. We was talking about two weeks ago, Bishop T and uh, Bishop Sanders came over to the uh, academy and uh, they showed us a proposal about um, coming here to the community of Compton and, and, and feeding, uh, it's called Feeding Compton. And uh, it, was, it was a vision that they both had and um, they came over to the Major League Baseball Urban Youth Academy to um, uh, put forth this proposal and uh, we ran it up the flagpole to our people and um, end up getting a, a substantial amount donated to this cause. And then here we, and then here we are two weeks later, and it's all coming to the culmination here, and it's just, it's just really gratifying to see. Major League Baseball started out, Kenny Landro Cup, started out. <laughs> He's from Compton. Major League Baseball, we won't have time to tell the long story, but it will be in the history books as it relates to this dinner West Coast. Major League Baseball started out as a sponsor. A sponsor is someone who contributes, invests, maybe one time. But they decided we are not going to be a sponsor, we're going to be a partner. Sponsors one time, partners for life. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Frank Robinson, Hall of Famer. Thank you, Mr. Nice to see you all here this morning. Uh, when I heard about this, my daughter brought the information to me, told me what she would like to do. She's a little bashful. She doesn't like to have a picture taken or anything. But she's the one that brought me my attention to this. And then I, uh, right away, I called the commissioner and told him what I'd like to do. Uh, I'm a partner with the, uh, uh, with the bishop, and uh, he said, no problem. And he said, how much you want? And I told him, and he said, you got it. Woo! Yeah! 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 I told him I was coming down today, and he said, be sure to tell everyone that uh, I'm a part of it, I wish I could be there, but I want to know how it went, what happened and everything as soon as it's over. So I have to get on the phone with him after we get. Uh, this is a worthy cause, it's a tremendous cause, and it's something that uh, I enjoy doing. I uh, am uh, over the academy over here, and uh, I'm down there quite often when I'm in town, and uh, the office of uh, commissioners in New York, and that's where I spend quite a bit of my time also. But when I'm out here, I come down here uh, to make sure things are going well at the academy. And 
the idea is I'm sure if all of you don't know, the Academy is for the community here in Compton and yeah. the surrounding areas. And we're going to be getting out in the community on a more regular type basis and see what your needs are and what your complaints are and uh, all of that. And we wish you would come by occasionally just to see what we're doing at the Academy. Uh, your kids are welcome here at all times. You uh, elders are welcome also to come over and see it. Uh, soon we're going to establish a community day here uh, at the Academy and we want all of you in the community to come over. And we're going to be out in the community, as I say, on a regular basis. It's a pleasure for me to be involved in this project. Commissioners involved in it. This is one of uh, two uh, academies that's up and running right now, and we have five more on the drawing board across the country. And our idea is to have one in every major league city. So, I just want to emphasize when I get off here, once I get a microphone, I'm like a politician, I don't let it go. But uh, I just want to emphasize to you all. Uh, and I want to you know, spread the word of mouth that this academy here, the back of the uh, football stadium stands, is yours. It's here for the community of Compton and the surrounding areas. And I emphasize yours, yours, you and the kids. So please come out and take advantage of it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here I am with Mayor Paradin. How you doing, Annie? I'm doing great, how are you? What does Thanksgiving mean to you and how does this event fit into your meaning of Thanksgiving? Well, Thanksgiving means to me that you take time out to give thanks to those things, uh, those people who have done things for you, your parents, your children, your community, and most of all to God, because we have so much to be thankful for and sometimes we neglect to think about the things that we take for granted. Here I am with Mr. James Bishop. How are you today? Doing great, Annie. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Happy Thanksgiving. Same to you. So could you tell us about your involvement with this event? Well, as you know, I'm with the Urban Youth Academy. Uh, we're here to feed Compton, which is a wonderful thing, uh, hosted by Frank Robinson, who is our boss now at the Urban Youth Academy. Um, we have a lot of dignitaries here today, which is great. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a lot of people come out and we can feed them. Now, what does Thanksgiving mean to you, and how does this event fit into your meaning of Thanksgiving? Well, Thanksgiving means to me that family, friends, um, enjoying some uh, really, really good home cooking, and just, you know, mingling with people that you really, really love. Here I am with Coach... Gerald Pickens, Centennial High School, CBATS. What does Thanksgiving mean to you, and how does this event fit into your meaning of Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving to me is a family, it's a time to be with family and enjoy some of the family things, eating together, talking together, and just reflecting on the past. And I think this day made it very easy for some unfortunate people in the city of Compton. Well, we've done e-blasts, Facebook, social media of all sorts, uh, people like yourself covering this man and making it happen. And uh, it's just word of mouth. I mean, it's just the school has really gotten behind the Compton College. Here's my great supporter. We have students here volunteering, some getting, you know, extra credit in class and things like that, just for coming out and being a part of. Of course, Major League kicked in with some young men to come from different teams to help this morning. Uh, man, I mean, just. It's just a groundswell. I don't know how to explain it. It was just a groundswell of, uh, you know, expression of press, media, and people coming in. It wasn't for that, but thank God that it has happened. My name is Erica Lindsay. I am with the Mount Pelham Church. I am the volunteer coordinator for the Moselle Sanders Thanksgiving dinners West Coast. The best feeling in the world is to be able. That's the best feeling because a lot of times we hold our hands out to get. But if we hold our hands out more to give, it will be a much better world. People, you know, volunteering, coming out happy, you know, trying to help our people. That's that's really interesting. I, I appreciate that. And, uh, I, I feel I feel blessed to be part of it. We have Emerson Elementary, and you are Kathy Crabtree. I'm a teacher, a kindergarten teacher at Emerson Elementary. Hi, happy Thanksgiving. And, uh, we just 
We're happy to be here today, come out and serve the community, and you know, just be able to be a blessing and, and help those people that are less fortunate than we are. It's a blessing because we're right in the need, right in the heart where people are in need of everything. Um, and this is a blessing for us. This is our first year, won't be our last. We're very excited. We're gonna feed 500 out of our um, facility. And uh, we're just trying to, you know, uh, help the community. You know, black, white, Hispanic, we don't care. You know, anybody hungry, we'll feed them. You know, so it's a beautiful thing. And I just, I just thank God that next year, I know it's gonna be bigger, and I'm gonna invite more people. It's just refreshing uh, to see ministries uh, like Mount Pilgrim, like the Moselle Sanders Thanksgiving that are uh, taking the gospel outside of the gates of the church. Right the and, uh, but it's, it, it was really wonderful to see the teamwork, to see all the different churches come together, the community come together, and we all had one common goal, and that was to serve the community, serve those that are less fortunate, but then in all that we have done today, God would get the glory out of everything that we do. I want to say thank you to everyone for coming out, but especially I want to say thank you to my staff, who's here today. Um, and also the volunteers, but my staff, they, uh, they do all the work. I just show up to meetings and make commitments, but the staff does the work. And a lot of our staff here today are volunteering their time. And they're volunteering their time because they care about the community and also they care about the city of Brown. I, said, I want to say thank you to Major League Baseball. Uh, I think Frank Robinson, you know, Triple Crown winner, is a great guy, but also for making a commitment to this type of event. I also want to say thank you to Bishop Sanders and also Bishop Irving. Um, they're, they're great individuals, but also the churches that they represent. Uh, thank you for coming out. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody, and remember, Thanksgiving is really about giving. Please come down next year. Come out and volunteer. We're going to have a whole lot more food. We'll probably double that number. We need all the help that we can get. We appreciate it all. Thank everybody. Thank Bud Seely, Frank Robinson, Michelle Robinson, Kenny Landro, and Don Buford and all of you guys that I met, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.